Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Ice and Fire Let's Play series. It has been quite a while since the last episode, but I needed a sl slight break from it. But now I am full with energy and ready to get back into it. And I am pretty excited for what we are going to be doing in today's episode. Um, I honestly have no idea if I did anything off camera since the last episode and this one. But I do remember that in the last episode we made a place for the dragons to uh, be once they grow up and a little landing area over here. I quite like this area. I mainly like that area to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, this entire area will be for the dragons and that is pretty cool. Now our task for today uh, it's going to be a little bit similar, but also kind of, yeah, a bit dangerous. You see, my task for today, if you don't remember, um, this tree is very interesting, I will have to say. I like this tree, it looks cool. Anyways, if you don't remember, it is my great friend Atalantis who decides my fate in this series, so she basically decides what I do um, for each episode. But... Today, my task is to tame an empathier, or at least build a home for them, and then we'll see how far we get. I will try and uh, tame one as well. It shouldn't take that long, hopefully. But if I tame one, that means we must have a home for it. So I've been thinking my gears in my brain have been hurting a lot, and I think what we're going to be doing, this was also Atlantis' idea, um, since we have a little stone formation area here, which kind of fits the hippogriffs because they live in mountain areas What we have been thinking is To make or what she, she suggested that I made this into a pond and then we uh, Or then I lead the water down here Through this way so just like a waterfall maybe it ends up down there or something. I don't know um, and this will kind of split these areas apart and this left area over here is going to be for the um, The empathy uh, I'm not sure what else to do with this area to be honest with you To be honest. I was kind of thinking okay the empathy by the way If you didn't know they spawn in jungle areas and I was like well What can I do to make it look like their home and to be honest it kind of already does like there's an open area here with Definitely need to do some changes, like remove all this stuff. Um, maybe flatten out some areas, maybe cover up some holes. But other than that, it is kind of jungly, I feel like. So, to be honest with you, I don't really know what I would do other than remove that pig. Uh, remove these plants and such, which, yeah, I think I'm gonna get to work. Because um, I don't know what else to do. We'll definitely need to fill that up with water, so I do need some water buckets. But before we do that, or before I get to work on that, I will probably make that into a time lapse or something like that. Um, hey, but B. Yeah, I don't know if I'm just gonna cut it out or if I'm going to make it into a time lapse. I'm not too sure. I'll figure that out. I have had issues with the replay mod recently, so maybe I won't be able to get it to work. Uh, here we have a water bucket. Cool. But before we continue that, here's our dragons, of course. Uh, six days grown takes a while <laughs> but a thing that we didn't do in the last episode we did not make the uh, ice dragon sword so let us make that today I won't be able to enchant it with third level enchantment but it is gonna be good enough all right so all we gotta do is combine the dragon bone sword with the ice dragon blood and here we have the ice to dragon bone sword plus eight damage against fire dragons freezes targets and it has some pretty high attack damage and this one has sharpness so that's why this is even uh even bigger in damage but let's take this and look at that that is pretty cool it will definitely help us against fire dragons so i'm gonna keep that close to me uh when i have it enchanted <laughs> uh that was that part there are two other things that i want to do uh one is to make I installed two mods. I installed uh, Antique Atlas and I also installed another one which I'll cover, I'll cover in a second. Um, the Antique Atlas is basically just like a map so we're gonna make that right now. Uh, I've never... I'm gonna go outside because these guys are making me go crazy. Alright, how about up here? This should be good. 
Uh, okay, you know what? On the balcony is fine. I believe we just right click this thing. I think. Let's see. Right click it, then it makes this thing, and then we can open it, and here we have a map. Let's see. Uh, we can add markers, we can delete markers, we can hide markers, and we can export image. So, unfortunately, um, the areas that we have already been in has not been marked because I just installed this mod now, but I do think it looks pretty cool and it is a nice addition. Let's add a marker right here and we're gonna label it home base and we can put some type here. Uh, do we have a home one? We do actually, I think. Or we can do this one. How's that? How's that? We could also do that, but we don't really have a tower here. Let's do that one. Yes, that's gonna work just fine. Home base. Yep, that works perfectly with me. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do believe that will update automatically once we go exploring, so that's cool. Another thing that I installed specifically for this episode is the Nature's Compass mod. For me to be able to actually find a jungle biome and not having to search for two hours. Hopefully this is gonna work. So to make this, we will just need some sort of um, some sort of wood, uh, sapling, and compass. So let's see if we have all of that. It should work with modded um, biomes as well, so this should be good. Uh, I do not have any saplings. Do I have the wood that I require? I do have wood. So now I basically just need some oak saplings because I don't have any other saplings available, unfortunately. So let me just go ahead and, well, I do need to chop down some trees and that's not the exit. I do need to chop down some trees over in that area, I think. Anyway, so how about this? Let me take a closer look at that area over there. Let me take a closer look at this area. Um, clean up some, some, clean up some things, chop down a tree here and there, and I will be right back with you uh, once I got an update and once I have what I need. So stay tuned, I will be right back. All right, I am back and I think I have a uh, battle plan here. <laughs> so I did a little bit, I removed a bunch of those uh, green bushes, I believe from Pam's Harvest Craft that spreads like, yeah, those, those right there. That spread like, I don't know, insane. Like they spread a lot, so yeah. I removed those, I removed a bunch of dead bushes as well. I just need to grab some vines real quickly. And I think we are ready. So I grabbed a bunch more wood because we're gonna need it. Because I think I like things simple. I like things that are made simple and I like to make things that are simple. So I took a little overview with uh, Buckbeak and I think what we'll be making is two like bird-like nests. One right here like into the ground. And then one over here, but oh no. Hey there, how are you doing? Seriously, I can fly. I don't even need to walk. Okay, uh, and yeah, another, I believe maybe even, maybe make a bigger one over here by the hole, cover up the hole of course, and then put it right here. That would be pretty, I dropped my sword. Get out of here, get out, get out, leave me alone. Leave me alone, there we go, okay. Yeah, another nest here, and then of course the water over here. I did not remove these yet. But yeah, put the water right here. And I'm not going to commentate throughout this entire thing. I will be, hopefully, if replay mod actually wanna work, I will be using the replay mod. So you are gonna see this from another perspective, hopefully it works. But yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I will be right back with you. Once that is done, and hopefully I will have figured out how to use this thing. <laughs> All right. Um, oh dear. How am I even going to fill this out? Uh, I guess just start from the beginning. All right. I'll see you in a second. Be right back. All right. A little bit change of mind. I'm actually going to be making the nests first. I just went ahead and grabbed uh, some leaves as well. Um, so yeah, I think we will be making the first one here and then I'll do the water in the end. Um, I'm not quite sure how big I'm gonna make this. In my testing I made it to a 6x6 six six area which I think would work. Uh, let's see here. 
I might need that and that. No, that. Okay. I am going to include this bit just so you can see what I'm actually going to do. Um, do this and then... To be honest, I think here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. I'm gonna move it one over, I think. I think I'm gonna move it one over. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Because then we need to be able to do this. And then we will start the next one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think this will be a nice area for it because it's going to be right out of the tree to like give it like a shade, maybe. I don't know. Uh, do, nope, wait, wrong direction. Give me my axe. My axe. Uh, put this here, that there. And to be honest, I'm quite happy with the design I think I came up with. <laughs> oh, does it need to be moved over one? I think we need to move it over one to make it fit better. All right, I think I got it good this time yeah I think this will have to be the size um, and then we basically just need to get rid of this dirt that is in here and don't worry I'll fix the sides over here so it's not so it doesn't look ugly unless it looks fine I don't know I haven't seen it from outside yet but let us remove all this dirt we're gonna need it later uh, and we will need to replace this border with oak planks, like so, and like that. Just the border here, one layer down, oh, not like that, like so. And then we need to actually get this layer out as well. And then this this will be the final layer, actually. This will be where the empathier, was, empathier in this case, we're only gonna tame one today, um, is going to, well, actually, sit or lay all right and then here to be honest I'm just gonna plop some random blocks here and there for locks to be placed so like that will probably work get some locks just smack a few every random spot one there maybe another there maybe add and weird facing one that way just make it random looking like this yeah I like that I think I like this and then I wouldn't say leave the dirt in I don't like seeing the dirt here uh, oh yeah there we go get rid of this dirt do it and then we're gonna randomly place oak planks so every now and then put one down one in the center, maybe one there, maybe another one here, and one there, why not? And then the leaves, but just so it does actually look kind of okay, we're gonna put dirt under the leaves. Um, I didn't actually do this in my testing, but I can tell that if we don't, it's gonna look pretty disgusting. <laughs> if we just have the, uh, the stone there that we can see through the the leaves all right I think this is gonna work hopefully now a few final touches will be just to put some vines here and there just to make it look a little bit greener down here um, from all of the bare wood and such so just spam place some of those out I have plenty and then some on the outside as well because if we don't do that it's gonna look Kind of air, I feel like. So add some of that. Of course, can't add any on this side uh, because it's hugging the, <laughs> the grass there. Let's add that and then do that. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. This is the final result. And I like that. I like this a lot. And yeah, I'm going to make another one of these. I'm sorry if you can't see very well. I think you can. I think you can see even better than me. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and make the other one after I've slept. So I'm going to initiate the time lapse in three, two, one, begin.
All right, that actually turned out different than I had expected or planned rather. Um, I was intending to make it round, but then I saw I was gonna make it bigger than that one. Oh, whoops. I was gonna make it bigger than that one. And then I came over here and I was like, oh, that's a huge gap here. So I actually decided just to follow the the dirt border here. And to be honest, I think it fits okay. It's bigger and yeah, I, I like it to be honest. I like it. <laughs> I think it fits nicely here. I don't know if I should put something here. Um, Atalanta suggested that I uh, place a building or something there. Let me know what you think down in the comments below what I should put there. Um, yeah, give me suggestions for that because I'm not too sure what I should put there. And if it was should be a building, I don't know what it should be. Maybe like a building for housing hay maybe or something. I don't know. Um, that's another thing we could potentially put down here maybe. Uh, maybe as a border, but I just don't have any right now. Um, but yeah, that uh, that's pretty much the nests done. Now what I want, I could also put like a pond here. Who knows? Um, but anyways, moving on. The next part is the water area. Excuse you. The water area over here. I don't know how deep I should make it. I'm thinking like to here. Um, so fill this entire thing in. So this level. So I'm going to get to work on that after I have cleaned up my inventory. That will be yet another time lapse. So I will see you when I'm ready. I am done with this project for now at least so right here you already saw this these are the nests nice uh, I don't have any dirt on me I would love to fix that right here but I'll do that another time but yeah here we have the nests I quite like them I think they look cool um, of course any suggestions are welcome down in the comments uh, something to put here should I put something here should I leave it be let me know down in the comments as well because I'm not sure if I should anything put anything here maybe a special tree or something I don't know and then over here we have the water uh, was a little bit tricky but uh, we did it in the end it worked um, so up here we have the first layer then it goes down a layer it looks a little bit weird but I think it is all right then it runs through here all the way down all the way down and down to this pond right here which we're gonna put a couple uh, of lily pads here just a few because I do I do want to put some uh, eh, that's annoying put some on the pond up there as well I think that would work and then maybe some bone meal as well to put around it like um, like the other one we made in the last episode actually put one there and like that yeah That'll work. There we go. That'll work. Uh, do I have any bone meal? Because if I do, that would make things a lot better. Also, just went back to grab some dirt so we could fill this one up. And then just put bone meal around the... Uh, well, I don't know what to call this. <laughs> the edge of the thing. Yeah, I'm just going to click a bunch of bone meal on this thing and... Um, yeah, it should be good. Do this like so, all the way back. Yeah, that looks instantly much better. Uh, we could of course put a bunch here on the back as well, but I'm just gonna focus on the front for now and I can always come back. Yeah, one stack definitely was not enough. 
I can come back later and add some more to it. But for now, I think one layer of bone meal should be able to do the trick. This looks a lot better now than before. I like this. I like how this turned out. I think this is a project well done. I think this episode is kind of lengthy, so I think what I'm going to do also, because I need some prepare time, I think I'm going to call this one, uh, let's call this episode right here. We completed the water area and we completed the nests. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to call it here because I need some preparation time. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them down below. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. In the next one, we will be finding, taming, and bringing back an empathier. So I'm pretty excited for that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.